off their gun racks. It's, it's just unbelievable. The world has, is never going to see anything like this. There's never been anything like this that's about to happen if this kicks off. And I'm doing everything I can to try to stop it. And I am deader than a box of nails if this thing goes off. They're going to come after me like that. So believe me, I'm in the boat with the cops. I don't, I mean, I don't want them to die. I don't want to die. I don't want this to happen. But George Soros and the globalists are going to sit up there in their ivory towers with all their bodyguards when they want our guns. And they, they're going to have you who they hate, the military and the police. They hate your guts. They know you're libertarian, most of you. Most police I know are more informed than the public, by far. They hate your guts. And they're going to start this civil war, and it is going to be a nightmare. That's their plan. And then riding in on his white horse like Napoleon, like Lincoln, here comes Obama. Oh, he'll crush the Tea Party. He'll crush the terrorist. <sighs> They'll crush Alex Jones. I mean, I'll just say this. I'm not going after anybody. But if somebody pulls up and starts shooting at me or whatever, I'll have to defend myself. And I'm not afraid, actually. <laughs> I'm afraid for my children. and I'm afraid for this country of simple-minded people that have no idea what's going on. I mean, we're living in something 10 times past a James Bond movie. I mean, this is epic what's going on. Epic. Epic upon epic upon epic. This is the fall of America for real. For real. With a bunch of crazy communist ideologues working for Goldman Sachs and big banks who think they can run a communist ideology takeover and that it's going to work. I mean, my God, it's, this country is going to blow sky high. By the way, if you were ever going to evacuate the United States, now is the time to get out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm staying. But, I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to go overseas and report on what's going on in the info war, that might be a good time. I mean, and, and all the rich people, most of the rich people, in the, they've been pulling out for five years. That's in the news. And buying armored redoubts all over the world because they know. I mean, they have just, billionaires are freaked out when they hear even part of this plan from the globalists. I mean, they're like, what? You're going to have a civil war with 170 million gun owners, mainly veterans. You're going to try to hunt down all the veterans and kill them in re-education camps, as the FBI discovered with uh, Grothjohn, Grafwald, for, uh, back when the FBI wasn't completely out of control. Uh, I mean, my God, can, I mean, listen, you're going to force millions of people to fight to the death. I mean, do you have any idea what that's going to look like? I mean, you're going to need a lot more armored vehicles. That's all. I mean, you could have a million of them. It isn't going to help you. You could put one guy in each armored vehicle. That's not going to help you. And you know that. You're not stupid. So are we going to let this happen? I sure hope we can stop it. Believe me, I, I, I lie awake at night. I wake up in the morning and I brush my teeth and I hug my children and I cook dinner and I think about this. It's all I think about. And I think about how I'm not up to the challenge. But any man trying to save his family and save his country is going to have that feeling. I'm just doing what I can, and I'm trying to be as real with you as I can. And I'm trying to be straight shooting here and just really talk to people. We're going to lose everything. You're, gonna, you're going to see the fall of America, and you're going to see the equivalent of a red terror, linen level, 1917 takeover in this country. They're going to do it. We got to stop them. And let me tell you, you don't stop them with a mentally ill looking guy dressed up like a joker, supposedly going and shooting two cops and somebody else, a concealed carrier that tried to stop him, probably killed him. Two cops that were fathers. Two cops that were fathers. That's what the enemy would do. That's exactly what I would do if I was the globalist. And I said they would tailor make something like this to set me up. And I've seen it coming. I don't know if it's real or not, but boy, it sure came right on time, didn't it? And it's going to make the cops get all paranoid and flip out, draping their bodies with Gadsden flags. So when cops see Gadsden flags, they freak out, go wild on the Tea Party.
you know, they send out their MRADs and, and, and microwave guns to the tea parties. They just want us to get in a fight. And folks, if they can get it done, <laughs> there are going to be a lot of dead people. I made a video compilation about Jay Carney and all the lies. So I figured, why not hear him from the man himself? This is a video of President Obama's broken promises and lies of the country. Enjoy. That's Joe Biggs. The way to make government responsible is to hold it accountable. And the way to make government accountable is to make it transparent so that the American people can know exactly what decisions are being ma made, how they're being made, and whether their interests are being well served. This is the most transparent administration in history. And we don't like federal agents poking around in our libraries in the red states. We'll close Guantanamo. I am less interested in passing out blame than I am in learning from and correcting these mistakes to make us safer. For ultimately, the buck stops with me. $30,000 for every man, woman, and child. That's irresponsible. It's unpatriotic. The last thing we should do is raise taxes on the middle class. You will not see your taxes increase one single dime. You will not see your taxes increase a single dime. I repeat, not one single dime. I believe in the Second Amendment. I believe in people's lawful right to bear arms. Uh, and so I respect the right of lawful gun owners to protect their families. I respect that. That means no more illegal wiretapping of American citizens. No more national security letters to spy on citizens who are not suspected of a crime. And as for those programs we do need, I'll make them work better and I'll make them cost less. We'll save billions by cutting waste and improving management and strengthening oversight. And I will finally end the abuse of no-bid contracts once and for all. I'm in this race to take, tell the lobbyists in Washington that their days of setting the agenda are over. That's why today I'm pledging to cut the deficit we inherited by half by the end of my first term in office. Guantanamo, that's easy. Close down Guantanamo. No more tracking citizens who do nothing more than protest a misguided war. Do you promise not to use presidential signage to get your way? Yes. This is part of the whole theory of George Bush that he can make laws as he's going along. Uh, I disagree with that. I taught the Constitution for 10 years. I believe in the Constitution and I will obey the Constitution of the United States. We're not going to use signing statements as a way of doing an end run around Congress. Wherever and whenever I can take steps without legislation to expand opportunity for more American families, that's what I'm going to do. That's three minutes from InfoWars Nightly News last night. That was 30 minutes. Then we had about an hour of extra broadcasting after that. The news is 30 minutes, but then we have extra stuff. It goes into overdrive. For PrisonPlanet.tv members. By the way, if you go to DrudgeReport.com, it has the best overall coverage of the collapsed border, the end of America. And we're having to get leaked photos by Breitbart with someone inside who's taking photos of the tens of thousands of illegals massing in Houston, bases in San Antonio, Dallas, you name it. We've got reporters, I'm not going to say which one, but we've got reporters that are going into a base in the next three hours. We'll have news tonight on that and tomorrow. So I'll just tell you right now, we got we got reporters going into one of these. And I may have to, you know, get them out of jail or have to deal with the military tonight, but we're just press going in and we're able to get in and they'll act like we're totally evil. Uh, but uh, we're not. And whenever uh, I tell folks what we're doing, that's my MO, because uh, we're, we're the good guys. What are we hiding? Uh, whenever Bergdahl comes to uh, San Antonio, we're going to have reporters down there for that. <coughs> so get ready for that here at InfoWars.com. Up at DrudgeReport.com, Sheriff likens influx of illegals to Hurricane Katrina. Our pile worries of diseases being brought in. Oh, it's been happening. The illegals flagging down Border Patrol to gain entry. That's what they are now as a chauffeur to deliver them to the welfare rolls. Illegals flagging down Border Patrol to gain entry. Central American newspapers tout Obama amnesty, tell people how to get here. Uh, danger conditions deteriorate at Arizona shelter. And this is a reason to totally legalize is because we're already so flooded they're starving. Widespread sexual activity. ISSA says flood going to mean children dying. <coughs> of course it is. But the whole world's told it's America's job for American taxpayers to pay for your kids. Border agent issues plea for help. That's Infowars.com. Very powerful article. Uh, paper influx threatens to transform nation. That's the plan. It, they want totally unwashed 
chick with no education. They don't want the smart immigrants from these countries, the engineers, the scientists, the hard workers. No, 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 no. They don't want the folks that come and work in the fields. They want welfare queens. They want little kids to become Obama bites. I mean, I mean, this is the implosion of the country. This is happening now. We're on the march.